even though Linux Mint doesn't build up as much junk as Windows when you're using it, there are still ways to clean Linux Mint from junk and free up the disk space if you follow these steps. So in this video, I'll show you how to clean up your Linux Mint and free up the space from unnecessary stuff. So let's get started. And before we start, if you're new to the channel, please take a second to click the subscribe button. Also, if you find this video helpful, give it a like. And if you have any comments or questions, drop them down in the comment section below. All right, without further ado, let's get started. The first thing you can do to clean up Linux Mint is to remove unnecessary packages. So for that, we just got to go to the terminal, which is located in the bottom left corner, or you can also go to the start menu and choose the terminal from here. After you open the terminal, use the following command to remove packages that are no longer needed. I'm just going to be typing commands in the terminal. So just type exactly the same. So you just got to type sudo apt auto remove and then press enter. Because this is Linux, it's gonna ask you for the password to authenticate this action. So you just need to enter your password and then press enter. After it has collected all the information, it's gonna tell you that after this operation, 760 megabyte of disk space will be freed. If you wanna continue, just type Y and then press enter. It might take a few minutes if you have a lot of packages that need to be removed. But if you don't have much, then it's going to take a few seconds. The second way how you can clean up Linux Mint is to clear the package cache. Linux Mint keeps a cache of downloaded packages, which takes up disk space. You can clear the cache by running this command, sudo apt clean, and then press enter. In my case, there is nothing happened because I probably don't have any package cache to clear. The next thing what we're going to do, we want to clean temporary files. And depending how long you've been using the operating system, there could be a lot of temporary files. So we're just going to clean them right now. For that, you just got to type sudo apt install blitzbit and then press enter. It will install another program that's going to help us to clean all the temporary files. Blitzbit is a utility that helps to remove unnecessary files and free up space. So after the installation is complete, just type in blitzbit and press enter. So this is just the preferences. We can close it. So it's going to launch this program here and now we can select the categories that we want to clean. Over here, as you can see, there is a lot of things that we can choose to clean. Temporary files here, there's trash, memory, localizations. So everything that's not unnecessary, we're just going to click against the system. And it says warning regarding system, free disk space. This option is very slow, so I'm just going to cancel it because I don't want to clean it. Localizations. Configure this option in preference, cancel. And warning regarding memory. This option is experimental, my issue. So we're just going to cancel it. So whatever it was saying, warning, I'm just going to remove these marks. And uh, what I'm going to leave here is broken desktop files, cache, clipboard, custom, uh, recent document list, rotated logs, temporary files, and trash. And we're going to clean all that. Also, you can choose to clean history and cache from any browser such as Opera or if you have Firefox. As you can see, I have the Chromium browser here, but I'm not going to do the cleanup for the browsers because I don't really need to do that. So we're just going to go ahead and press clean here. And it says delete confirmation. Are you sure you want to permanently delete files according to the selected operations? The actual files that will be deleted may have changed since you run the preview. Yeah, and just click delete. It's going to take a few seconds and it's going to delete all the temporary files. As you can see here, we have some errors. So some files were deleted, some files there was some errors and actually it shows us 66 errors. It says permission denied. So after it's all done, go ahead and close it. And basically that's it. We have cleaned quite a bit of stuff. So yeah, there you have it guys. This is how you clean up your Linux Mint. I hope this video was helpful to you. If you like it, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channels for more interesting, helpful Linux videos. And if you have any comments or questions, drop them down in the comment section below. I'll be really happy to help you. But this is it for now. I hope you have a nice day. See you soon. Bye-bye.